Hey you guys, it's Jay. Yeah, it's a uh, project day. Uh, we're, we're putting on a new Lippert front jack, power jack. Be right back. Okay, so I don't remember if I told you guys back in the, it was, it was, like, it was last summer, we were uh, at uh, one of those uh, Missouri conservation areas. Well, we wound up bending, bending this, the, the, this part here. Uh, we went to, to pack up and pull away. We were at a, a slight incline, you know, where I had to pull, uh, pull the prowler kind of out of a, you know, the back end was down low. But uh, we always have these, Legos here, they're yellow, bright yellow, at least one, no matter where we go, uh, at least one to be underneath this front jack. Well, what we learned that day was, because we were at such an angle, we did not have a Lego there. This was just sitting on the dirt. So this is this huge, huge tip for you guys. You know, we try to have a routine when we pack up and, uh, and sit, you know, tear, tear down camp and, and, uh, and then when we, uh, also when we set up camp too. But we both, we were all hooked up. We both we would double check each other. We both this we didn't have the yellow the ye yellow label Lego. We both missed that. The jack was down, and I went to pull away. Well, this this dug into a dug into the dirt just like a a farm plow, and we got we got about 25 feet, and it dug in like probably four or five inches. And I'm oh my gosh, I, I couldn't you know I, I got out and looked and like oh. Phew. We, 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 we dug a trench, but, uh, and I was, I was worried it wasn't going to work at all, but it did work. You can tell it's skipping, it's skipping gear, gears. So I thought, I thought I better get a, get a new one here before it quits altogether. But we learned something there. It, it doesn't matter what. We always put a yellow Lego under there just to, so we don't miss that. Um, that's, that's, so anyway. I'm going to show you how to uh, replace that jacket. Here we go. First of all, you guys, if you can do this while it's hooked up to, to, to the, the truck, the tow vehicle, then you don't have to jack it up. It's, it's easy to slip in and out. But I didn't want to hook up and be hanging half, half out in the street here. Um, so I got my three and a half ton jack here. It's, you don't need that much, but uh, I've got it jacked up. And I just got to pull these, these three bolts out. There's three bolts there. And there's one wire that goes to the battery. So I don't have another person to film. So I'm, I'm just gonna do it and just gonna show you as I, as, as I pull it out. Okay, got, got the three bolts out. Uh, I need to hit all these zip ties so the wire comes loose. And that's routed underneath. You kinda see it zip tied to that cable, that wire there. And then it comes up right here. And I've got it loose, so I got some zip ties to cut, and then this needs to come off, and this this the shoot this this will fall down, so I can so I can pull this up through the hole. There we go. Boop. Okay, wires disconnected. Three four zip ties clipped down there. Got the wire pulled through. Bolts are out. That's just connected. So that should just lift out. And that bo the bottom piece is going to be greasy. So let's see this over here. Boy, this one's a lot, lot heavier. A lot heavier duty. And this this will lift up to 3,500 pounds. I'll show you when it's on. But anyway, I'm just going to stick that back in there. Again, I can't do this with just one hand. So. Okay, at first I was worried that there wasn't going to be enough wire to get back up here. So, uh, and this, this is 10, this is 10 gauge wire. This is good heavy duty wire. I don't know if you noticed what was on uh, the old one. That's, that's, that's like 14 gauge or 16 gauge, skinnier. So, uh, thankfully I just happened to have some of these on hand, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, uh, ring terminals yeah um, so I'm gonna 
get that and I'm gonna pinch it pinch it on the wire okay you guys got that crushed you can see the wire sticking out the end of it too so I, we got a good connection there I still need a zip tie underneath I'll show you when that's done um, it works got to extend and retract you know up down and then it's got a light on the front of it too for if you're if you're hooking up at night which is pretty handy so okay I'll show you once I have it routed underneath and zip tied okay got the zip got it zip tied some yellow zip ties there so I've got a strap in the battery box whoops conk on the head huh yeah, I still gotta do the battery box here, but we're done. We are done. Lippert, that's a pretty good one. Heavy duty, man. This one's heavier, heavier wiring. Um, that, that, was, that, that was good. I mean, that was my fault. I, 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 I ruined that jack. So, but anyway. Uh, all right, it's good to do, your, do this stuff yourself, guys. Um, sure helps to have two people when I'm filming. Uh, but uh, anyway. Save, save, save yourself some money, do it yourself. Do it for somebody else, uh, charge them. But anyway, love you guys. Uh, we'll see you in a few days with an with a adventure video. Um, God bless. Again, love each and every one of you. And we will see you in a few days. Doing what? I don't know. <laughs>